I have here is some eye gauging, a classic combination set of squares. So we've got a, a normal combination square, so we're going to have 90 and 45 degrees. We've got both metric and imperial. We can take the rule out of here, which acts as a really good rule. It's uh, satin anodized steel. We can use it in here as a center finder or on there as a very accurate protractor as well. The main body of the, the square is a cast steel. Into this we have a level set into it so we can level up our work. A nice knurled screw fitting if we release this and we can slide the rule in and out. We've got metric on the one side, imperial on the other. This imperial measurement is down to 64 ths. If we want to we can take this out, we can flip it around or flip it over the other way in which case we've actually got measurements down to 30 seconds. So really quite adaptable. As a straight edge and a rule, it's also pretty damn good. Good clean square ends on it. The spring on here, as we push them in and out on that knurled nut, just got to get it lined up so we can put the rule back in there. And when you tighten him down, he's nice and firm. One of the standard things you're going to use your combination square for is marking up your face side face edge and squaring around your timber. Good crisp line on here. And you could mark your lines all the way around to get you a continuous box. Or you might use him again for 45 degrees. You can mark your lines on there. You can come back as a square from the other way if you were doing something like a bird's mouth. And also we can use him for testing how square our timber is both face side to face edge or on your end grain. We can set him up on the millimetre ruler or the inch ruler if you're using it to any particular size and either use it for marking power line lines for set out. Move them up by 10 mil from there. So great for doing that general marking out work. Also, we can measure the depth of timbers and use it as a continuous marker. Again, if we were trying to get lengths of stuff marked off on loads and loads of components before we come back and do our major squaring work. So use them as a rule as well. If you're out on site and you've forgotten your pencil, or if you're doing work marking up some metal work, then in the end of the square, screw out is a nice little sharp scribe. So you could use him as well, but more useful possibly on metal work, but it does give you a very crisp line in wood as well. So the combination of square is a classic bit of kit for doing carpentry work. You can use it for setting out positions on your door linings for where your architraves might come in. We would have put a line down the jam and the same across the head. We can mark out our 45 degrees. We could also reset him to the thickness of our door plus a little bit so we could set out our door stops in the right position. Or if we were dropping a hinge into here, we could set him out off the hinge so we could mark the top down the back and the length as well before we come and chop him out. The centre finder also is going to be really useful. We can use it for a square stock, round stock, but also marking mitres on square timber. So we drop it on the outside corner, do a centre line, come to the other corner and a centre line. We've now got dead centre of this if we want to drill it or we want to put it onto the lathe. Also it's going to be really good for finding the centres of round stock. This one's always been pre-turned, so I can't get a center in here. I'm going to probably do three lines, and you often end up with a little tiny triangle, and we want to be dead center of that one. Or on larger stuff, this one's a pre-waxed piece of lignum. We make these for mallet heads. For this one, probably better use the scratch. And now we can mount him up with confidence, that is dead centre for that round. 
If you wanted to mark up a very accurate mitre from an external corner of a box or maybe dropping in an inlay, and actually the center finder is great for this because what you can do at 45 degrees or that V, 90 degrees, will sit very accurately on the external corner and then you know with confidence your mitre is springing right from that edge. The combination square set always comes with the protractor as well. So from here we've got 0 to 180, so we can go from a parallel line, so people do sometimes use that if you get it set up right, almost as a winding stick looking down a piece, but we can go at any angle in between, setting them up here, tighten up the two knobs on the back, and we can use them for marking across. We can also use the end of it to start marking off a bird's mouth if you're going to come back at the other angle. Also we can use it for testing what angle something's perhaps already been made at. So for this pentagon leg, if I can get him in here, we can set up and find out what angle that is, which we've got in here. The metric and imperial combination square set comes in this plastic box, all laid out with some uh, foam in there to protect it. This is available from Woodworkers Workshop in the UK and Europe. Check out the description and the links below for our website.